Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll be checking out the Entech Octo device. Um, I recently made a YouTube short about this. Actually, probably not recently, it was a while ago. And for full transparency, Entech did send the device over to me, um, but they are not telling me anything I have to say about it. Um, so this video is just me trying it out and we'll be seeing how it works here. I have a fairly large LED screen right here that I have custom built. Currently they are running from WLED controllers. And today we're going to try a more permanent solution um, and hopefully a more reliable solution to the WLED controllers. So this device is pretty interesting because it has zero volts, which is ground, data, um, clock, and voltage plus. You're not supposed to run your power through this device, um, but this is pretty much just for ground and data. Um, so it does need power from your power supply, um, but after that you're able to just plug the LEDs in themselves to power. So the way I'm going to wire this up today is I'm going to unplug the LEDs from the controller and I'm going to plug in um, the wires here and just it should be a drop-in replacement so we'll see how it goes and let's begin so currently I have quite the mess of cables um, basically though um, what we've got going on is we have a controller doing nothing um, which is this one right here I believe yep so I don't know why this one was really here but it was doing nothing um, and then these controllers each kind of do separate LEDs so you will see the LED bars that we have um, and those ones are typically, I think those are all ran from that controller. And the actual big LED wall is just ran from this one. You'll see the one line here um, that is running that one. So I think what we can do actually, um, after further analysis, we should be able to just plug it in um, and not have to worry about the barrel jack for power at all. So what I mean by that is pretty much if we unplug this cable right here, um, we can plug in the controller the Entech one and you'll see there's a light that did turn on on the device so that should literally be all that we have to do for that wall um, so I'm gonna go grab my laptop and we will go make sure this thing is configured for the network and we can make sure that it is all working the way we think it does so that was about the easiest thing I have done in a long time uh, it took maybe less than 10 minutes um, it was really really easy um, obviously my face is really lit up right now um, and that is because the LEDs are on and everything is functioning as it should be. And I think that's pretty cool. So you'll see the LED behind me, the wall is on, and down there is the controller, and that is the Octo. So at this point, my next step is to take what I did over here and basically duplicate it over there to the other wall. Uh, the only difference is I'm going to only use one Octo. And to do this, I'm going to probably use a 22 gauge three pin cable. Um, that's going to give me ground um, data and an extra one if I ever need it for anything else. So um, I think that's the best bet because I'm not gonna run power that long. Um, that side obviously has its own power supplies right now, so um, that's not a big deal. And I think it'll work out better to not run power over a long distance. So now we are a little over um, halfway done with this project. I have created this little cable thing here with a bunch of Wagos on it. Essentially what we'll be doing is we'll be running a three pin cable from the one um, Entec Octo to the other side of the stage where this will be on the other end. And this is essentially preventing me from having to solder. Right now I don't have the soldering stuff, so this is just going to try it out to make sure everything works. Essentially the grounds will be shared between the power supply and then the um, ground of the Entec Octo. Because I'm gonna be running a separate power supply down there, it doesn't make sense to feed power through the long cable. So then the plus um, or, or five volt connection will also just get directly from the power supply. Um, and then for the data line, that is what will come through the cable. So essentially all we need through the cable that I'm going to do across the stage is going to be ground and data. So essentially um, I'm just going to run a super, super thin cable that we have. Actually, I think it's over here. So in terms of cable, I'm gonna use this cable. It's actually two pins, so we can't do power. Um, but this is just some super old cable that we already had. Um, I'm not quite sure um, exactly the specifications of this cable, um, but the other cable we have is 22 gauge cable, which is kind of small. I wanna say this is 18, it looks kind of like 18 to me. So we'll be using 18 gauge cable here to get the ground and the data through. Um, and then on the other end, obviously, like I said, we will do power injection at the end because it does not make sense to send like 40 amps or whatever back to the controller then back. Anyways, we're gonna go set this up right now. Okay, so at this point I have ran the cable across the stage. Um, you'll see this is what the cable looks like. So it's just the red and the black wire. Um, basically the red is the data, the black is the ground. So I'm going to wire this up into the Entec Octo. One nice aspect of this is that on the other end it was only wired into the data side of the controller, which means that I really don't have to worry about power um, on that side because it's already going to get power. So that just kind of saves me a little bit of work because it's one last job for me. 
um, and pretty much I should just be able to go data pin on the Octo, which is going to be the second one right here because um, keep in mind, I'm already using the first data pin. Um, I'm gonna go make sure all the outputs are configured on this device and make sure it is ready to go. And then we will continue troubleshooting from there. All right, so you'll see the wall is now working. I'm playing an animation across it. Up here, you will see the little jank adapter that I kind of created here, where basically I'm only taking power from the existing data line, but then I am feeding this um, data line actually now from the output of the previous section. So this whole side is one data line. This used to be a separate one, but now they are together. Um, and so what this looks like on this end is basically it is just the single data wire that is being wired up into the wall. Um, the ground and stuff is all completely separate. You'll see the ground going into there. Um, the ground wire is going right there, which is shared amongst the power supply. And then of course over here, uh, you'll see this wire right here, which is the one that we are sending over to the other wall. Um, that wire is all hooked up. It is just going across the floor right here. Um, I will eventually cable manage it nicely, but for now the cable is okay there. So part of the benefit of having all of these running off of the same controller is now they are perfectly in sync. With the WLED controllers I was using before, they were slightly out of sync and you can't run that many pixels from the WLED controller anyway. Like I couldn't have ran the both full walls, I don't think. So um, putting it on the NTEC controller is definitely a huge um, improvement for us here. Um, it also makes it super easy in the future. If we ever get a new controller, we can just unplug the little um, screw down terminals, plug it into the new controller and just get off the off the lighting. So that is pretty much all I have for this video. I want to thank NTech for helping me out with the controller. Um, NTech makes some really, really great software. Um, I've showed it in previous videos. Um, NTech ELM is what is feeding all of these LED walls and all these LED pixels I've got here. Um, make sure to check out some of my other videos. Um, I do talk about WLED in them. Um, and WLED is what I used to use before I had the NTech controller. But like I said, I really appreciate NTech for sending that out to us. Um, it's going to be a huge improvement for us. The quality is so much better. The uh, latency is better. Everything's better about it. So thank you again, NTech, and thank you again for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video.